how do you actually sell Embark Agency? What is your sales process? And what's that journey been like for you? It's a, It's been a, yeah, like, uh, sell, okay, you can talk to any creative out there. We're so passionate and love what we do. Put us in, and we're people pleasers. So for me, when I, when, when I go into sales, I just wanna help my clients. And that's why I got into business in the first place, because I wanna help them. Um, so when I have a sales meeting, I'm just helping them. That's, that was my, my strategy, which worked for you know, probably 15 years, is I'm, I give them the solutions, this is what you do, um, this is how we would go about it. And I, I pretty much, I unveil the magic um, ingredients to how they can make a successful website or a brand. And then, of course, they take my knowledge that I've given them in that sales meeting, go away and um, they do it themselves. Now, when, I, when everyone could afford us, that wasn't a problem because they're just like, oh, look, it's just, it's just going to be better if we get these guys to do it. But when um, our, our offerings matured or our products matured over time um, and we had to realign our prices with um, our experience and the maturity of our business, um, those prices changed quite a lot. And it, it happened quite quickly too, um, probably over the span of two or three years, our prices almost quadrupled in um, when we started pricing ourselves and realizing how good we are at what we do. We're like, we, we were underpricing ourselves so much, um, but the skills and knowledge to sell to sell in that in that space was completely um, <laughs> missing, I would say. So my conversion rates went down. And so you put your prices up, what happened next? Um, yeah, my conversion rates went down. Hmm. Um, and I noticed it. I'm going, why aren't I, why aren't, like I'm, I'm having this great rapport with the, the customers. They are so happy when they leave here. Um, but then I wouldn't hear from them. Like, oh, what's going on? It's like, oh, yeah, you're just too expensive. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, why is price even coming into this? And I was, I was really, really confused. Um, I, would, I would have gone from, just to, in context, I would have gone from 90, at least 90% conversion rate down to probably 30, like massive. Wow. Um, sales always felt uncomfortable for me. It always felt like, icky and uh you know i'm not that person i'm not that person but um you know what i've learned is uh, if i really want to help people they need to use me and if i'm giving them all the solutions to their issues on the, our first sales call and not understanding what their problem is in the first place um, i think that was one of the biggest turning points for me is like a i'm not asking the right questions and b i'm going straight to solutions so um, for the biggest lesson i've learned in the last five years in sales is stay off solutions completely don't even don't even go there um, I, they know you can fix the problem. That's why they're here in the first place. Your, your, I, your job is to explain the value that you're going to bring to their project and understand their problem better than anyone else. So when, a, when someone comes in here for sales now, I just, it's questions, questions, questions. And then I say, Hey, this is our process. This is what we'll go through. And I show them a little bit of a case study and just and show, show them what, what we do. That's so good and why, where that value is. Um, and that's completely, um, flipped my sales um, back probably back up to maybe 70 or 80% now.